Hello everybody and welcome back to Rusty Acres. So in the previous episode I did ask everybody if they wanted me to do essentially Clarkson's farm on here. So we get all the relevant machinery and then try and farm the same way sort of thing. Uh, as realistically as possible though, just with the right machinery. Some of the machines I don't think exist in FS19, but there are quite a few that do, or something similar. I don't know exactly when we're going to change the machines, um, but I don't want to mess the series up, if you know what I mean. So we'll probably establish ourselves a little bit more first, and then we'll do it. Quite a few people have suggested not doing it on this map, more a map which is set in the relevant area. Uh, so we might do, I'll probably have to do another vote though, if that is the case. It was actually a very close vote, so it, it's a bit of a tough one anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the next vote will be the deciding factor as to whether or not we do Clarkson's Farm on this map or another one. Anyway, today what we have to do is we have to sort out the clover. Uh, the clover is actually just cut and then rode up. I am going to, for the first time, use a stationary baler. So we cart it back to the farm and then we can put it into a baler and if we want to we can create some wrapped silage bales look at these crops, they're looking so good we're going to be making quite a bit of money out of those okay here we are back at the farm just pop that in there, I've put the trailer just over there so we'll be using this very soon but without any further ado we need to retrieve Jeremy's tractor from the field which is just here there is the crop looking very good um, let's go and buy a loading wagon. Yeah, so the plan is basically to fill the loading wagons. The first loading wagon will be put straight into the feed trough, just as clover, and then the remaining loading wagons will be put into the baler. Now, I know the baler can definitely wrap, uh, I just don't know exactly if it can just create a bale without wrapping it. I think it probably will be able to, but as I've never used it before, I can't say for sure. But it actually doesn't matter if it can't do. The flail will still be here from the previous episode. This is the sort of job which this tractor is going to be brilliant at. Uh, we can actually put the flail on the front just to get it back to the farm. We'll be using it on the Zeta. It's for a compact tractor really. Okay, uh, so both machines today are going to be leased. So let's go with something relevant. They're actually quite cheap. But they're still expensive, but they're not too badly priced, although that one there is always going to be the best. Um so for forty five thousand pounds for twenty thousand five hundred litres. Eighty thousand pounds for I suppose yeah, it's not too bad. It would be leased anyway. Let's just go for that biggest one there. I know the other one is a better deal. Okay. There's also two methods for putting the clover or the grass into the baler. And I think we're probably going to go with the conveyor belt method over the bucket method. You can get a wheel loader, you can scoop it up off the ground and put it into there. Uh, but since we don't have a wheel loader, we only have a telehandler, it probably won't be the fastest approach. Although having said that, the bio belt's bucket is still pretty big. Uh, so uh, as usual, I probably am wrong there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Which one would be best? With a conveyor belt, it can be slower, but it is a constant. It's constantly picking it up off the ground. We do have the bio bus bucket, so I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. I'm just going to drop off the flail up this road here. This is where we deliver all the animal feed to, all the cows feed. Just into there. But I'm sure we can find a suitable location for the flail. Uh, it's not here to live, it's just here temporarily until I need to use it, which will be really soon. I think we'll put it up here. Yeah, it's going to be for tidying up field boundaries and stuff. And there we go. We'll spin round, go around the lap. <laughs> it's brilliant, I love that. 
so well designed. Um, great for when you're actually carting the slurry from here. And yeah, we can go and get our first load, which should be we're coming straight back to here. Dump it all in there. Uh, there should be space, I'm hoping, for the whole lot, for the, for the whole uh, loading wagon. And then after that, it's going to be going to the stationary baler. And yeah, we might as well take a shortcut here. It's not my official entrance, but yeah, it still works. I'm sure the farmer here won't mind too much. Right, lower that, pick it up. Of course, I haven't checked to make sure the stationary baler is compatible with Clover, but I'm just sort of assuming that it is. I think it will be, because I think pretty much every baler is. They are pretty good like that. Um, it seems to be a really compatible mod. Many things seem to be compatible with it. Yes, it's not going to take too long to get this first load. Uh, probably not even once around the headland. Okay, well there is our baler setup, ready for accepting grass. I uh, don't know exactly how I'd get that lower. I uh, might be able to get the conveyor belt lower, but it might not have an issue. Anyway, back over at the field, Jeremy's tractor is ready to go over to the feed trough. And then we can come back, we can get the next load, and that is going to go straight into the baler. So we probably will just make a load of clover silage instead of keeping loads of just clover, because you wouldn't actually do that anyway, it would just rot. Uh, we can't really just bale fresh clover. Yeah, 26,000 litres. It's a decent amount. Here we are, cows. It's your lucky day. You're being fed. Oh, actually that reminds me, I need to check the water. They probably could do with some more water. Uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, oh no, they've got plenty. 35,000 litres, but they do need the straw pellets. We have straw. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Uh, and as you can see here with the clover, 26,000 litres just scratched the surface. So maybe we'll just alternate it. One load goes to here, next load goes to the baler. The baler is going to need time anyway to process what we've given it. And each baler is set to 6,000 litres, so that's pretty good. So I'll just very, very quickly go and get the next load, and then I'll see you over at the baler. It's not a big field anyway, so there's not going to be a, a huge number of loads out of it. Here we are, back at the farm, ready to get things going. Don't know if you saw in the time lapse earlier, but it was only £400 to have the conveyor belt on the side. And I think that is worth doing, providing we can get it all going, which we should be able to, because uh, it's going to save me going backwards and forwards with the telehandler. Okay, so that's started up. Should be now ready to feed, unless the, bail unless the conveyor belt's not switched on. I'm not too sure. Let me just back up, and we will see. With a bit of luck, it's just going to work. Yeah, 
Yes, it would make sense to put the conveyor belt on. Ooh, it just works on its own. So you can see it's filling that chamber, which bounced over the tractor. It's putting the clover into here. Did I switch that baler on? I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Look at that. Uh, so there probably is an option for doing other stuff like wrapping. Maybe not. Maybe it is a wrapping only. Well, I have already started the procedure, so uh, yes, it probably won't let me stop midway through. But that's fine. I would love to have loads of clover silage. That's fantastic. It means we can just focus on hay in the other field. And is that going to automatically unload? I think there is a mod, actually, to have uh, an automatically unloading baler. Although, actually, look at the speed that it's taken that up at. We don't really need to worry about having to press Y every now and then. Because there's 6,000 litres per bale. There's only 26,000 litres per load. So just sitting here for maybe a minute is not going to be too hard. And, yep, it's just putting them all back there. I wonder if it'll have the power to push them all the way to the back. Probably not, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. We might have to get the telehandler here to start shifting them. But there we go, yep, that's another 6,000 litres. We'll head back to the field, we'll get another load. And this one will be for just giving to the cows as a raw product. It's good fun. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a mod which allows you to have an automatically unloading baler. There certainly was for 17. If there is for 19, which I think there is, I haven't used it very much. Because uh, I tend to avoid round balers. But yeah, that is certainly something to consider. Then you really can just leave it to it. Okay, three full swaths left. I'm hoping there will be a bit left over to put into the silage maker. Uh, but if not, it doesn't matter. Yes, it's looking like there will be a small amount as this has filled it up a third. The final swath. We're 80% full. So yeah, there will be a small amount. That is good. All I'm trying to do really is have an even split. Because uh, they're all 25%. They all have 25% effectiveness. So nothing is better than anything else. We just want to have some of everything. Here we are again, cows. And we're going to have to get Emily back. Emily cleaned the yard area in Chellington. Only for the last few episodes. Yeah, good mod. The broom works effectively, very effectively as well, but we, I've been using it on Vintage Survival and Survival Challenge and stuff. And, yeah, you can overuse a mod. For a video. It's nice to have different methods. But yeah, the broom is a fantastic mod, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to overuse it because it is very easy. Very easy to use. What's it going to be? 5%? 8%? 7 okay. <laughs> well, I had two guesses. So there's another almost 2,000 litres for the silage maker. We probably won't be turning the whole of fur number 8 into hay, so if we just sort of split it, maybe two thirds hay, one third silage, that'll work. But of course, with it being clover, it's going to regrow. But I do need to put some fertilizer on that field, I think. Let's just take a look. Yeah. Nitrogen is lacking. That's for sure. Right. Get the next bale out. Four in a row starting to pile up. Uh, so that should start picking it up again. And we have... A bit more in here to get out. If it would be so kind to empty it for me. Oh, don't tell me you can't do it unless it's full. Okay, well, bizarrely, I can't empty it. 
Uh, but that's fine because we'll have more coming soon anyway. So we have four and two thirds. Which doesn't sound like much, but yeah, as I said, I've upgraded those to 6,000 litre bales. So it's not too bad. Right, let's get the Merlot. We'll put the bell fork on and we'll get those bells put into a suitable location. I'm thinking the bell shed. Although they don't even have to be undercover because they are silage bells, but yeah, we'll just keep all the bells together. Keep bells out of the silage pit because that is going to be just for loose silage. There we go, here's the bell spike. And we should be able to get two on the spike together. So, yeah, just two loads here. Okay, so we don't have to put in the bell shed, we could give it straight to the cows. Even if we gave the cows all the silage that we have, it would be literally just scratching the surface. It's just I was going to role play the fermentation process, but I guess we don't need to. Uh, yes, they have nothing anyway, so yeah, let's just go and give it to them. It will benefit us in the long run. And the final two. Yes, it must be amazing to have so much that you can just make 20 or 30 bales. But I admit, putting fertilizer on the field would have helped. And actually lime. The field didn't have anything really. Did it have lime? It didn't have much. Uh, maybe, no it didn't I don't think. Pretty sure it didn't. So now is my opportunity to improve things so next time we can get maybe double double the amount of clover that would be great I've made an effort with all the fields, it's just that one that one has been overlooked really but I've got to admit the stationary baler is surprisingly useful no carting of bales all we need is automatic unloading which we might be able to get, and it would be perfect. Here we are. So yeah, we'll get Emily to sort the place out next time. That, like I said, is going to be just scratching the surface, as you can see, but at least they have everything they require, except for straw. But we'll be sorting that out. We're going to have straw coming off several fields. We have... what do we have here? We've got... Well... Nine, <laughs> field number nine. Uh, that is triticale. We should be able to get some straw off that. So, well, even if we can't, I'll make sure the next crop does have straw. We have straw bales, so I can go and produce some straw pellets out of them if we have to make pellets, but I don't think we do. Um, but yeah, I will be producing more straw pellets, so we might as well just give them the straw pellets when we have them. Because productivity must be quite high. 64%. And that's from before we gave them the clover silage. So we're pretty much there. Next time, I'm hoping to do the clover over in that field for number 8. And the triticale. If we can do the triticale, then we can get straw off it. That'll be going straight into the straw pelleter. And then we can put those pellets straight into the appropriate area over at the cow farm. But for today, that is actually it. Yeah, you can see how many birds we have. Quite a few. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.